Welcome to Bill Cooks. I'm Bill Cook, and I suck at uh, camera work. Terrible. I'm making beef tacos fritos in this episode. I'm just not framing the camera shot right, so... So we've got our taco, everything's done, everything's ready to go. You saw how I fried the shells up, they look up. Most of the video, well, a good chunk of the video is pretty screwed up. So I'm here to fix it. This is Future Bill correcting for dumber yesterday bill so this is fun I am gonna get better with the camera I promise I <clears throat> I have a lot of videos actually that uh, turned out where you can't use them so I can't really say it was a one-off you'd think I'd be learning and I'm getting a little better but I got a long ways to go and here we are so beef tacos free toast Growing up in a traditional Mexican household uh, from in central Mexico, <laughs> Irish boy from Orange County, California, close enough. Um, we would have these very traditional, not at all, uh, tacos that my mom would make. They were fantastic frying up the shells, uh, the, the tortillas to make these wonderful shells, but they're not like the crunchy tacos you get at Taco Bell or something like that, or the, um, the ones you buy in the box at the grocery store and heat up. Uh, no, not, not like that at all. These are chewy, and they're crispy, and they're flavorful, and they're amazing. And this is how you need to be making beef tacos fritos. Fritos just means fried. So, um, they don't have this in Mexico. They don't do this in Mexico. The restaurants around here don't know how to make this at all. So, this is a pretty unique recipe. Um, I hope you make this because it's delicious. But uh, you'll have to watch parts of this video that don't make a lot of sense in order to get to the point where you can see how it's done. Good luck. Bear with me. And uh, see you at the end. So it's Taco Tuesday. We're making tacos. I'm doing beef tacos fritos. I'm doing them this specific way. Growing up in a traditional Mexican household in central Mexico, I was exposed to just all that the, the, the wonderful culture and cuisine had to offer. And uh, so this is one of our traditional meals. Every Tuesday we would have this. It was Taco Tuesday. I think my family invented it. I, I could be wrong. But Taco Tuesday was always crunchy tacos and beef with the packet in there, the whole thing. Lettuce, onion, tomato, didn't do that in the right order. And cheese. <clears throat> now, that's what I'm gonna be showing you here. And it's a little different than, than most things do. I don't know why everybody doesn't do it this way. Uh, there are a lot of restaurants around here that take a corn tortilla. They put the meat inside the corn tortilla and then they deep fry it with the meat inside of it. Please don't do that. Stop doing If you're watching this now and you've ever done, don't stop doing that immediately. What you do is you cook the tortilla and then put the meat in it. That way it doesn't disgusting. No. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that. I have the meat cooking right here. It's already done. You can see that uh, here in the video. Oh look, meat cooking. Yes, exactly. There you see all the veggies are already diced up. Here's that part of the video. And then the cheese, we shredded that up. There you go, that's basically it. Tacos are about as easy as it gets. So uh, let's assemble this. I'll show you how to make the shells. And uh, let's eat some tacos. So the real secret to this recipe is the corn tortillas. So I have a sh uh, shallow frying pan here. Um, it's not huge, like a, I think it's a 10 inch pan or something like that. Anyways. Uh, I've got about a half an inch of canola oil in it, and again, up to about 350 degrees. And what you do is you put it down on one side, kind of swish it around real fast, and then quickly fold it so that side is to the inside. So you're cooking the inside of the tortilla first, folding it in half, and then you're going to cook the outside. Well, this is easier said than done because the, the corn tortillas immediately puff up and they don't want to fold in half. If you go too far, 
then you're not going to get this done. It, it's it's a little trickier than it looks. It takes a little bit of skill. I've been doing this for a long time. And uh, what you're looking for is that uh, there's a little bit of browning on it, but you're never going to get it like fully crispy all the way around. And uh, when uh, they're done, just pull them out, put them on a paper towel, and continue on with the rest of your batch. So we've got our taco, everything's done, everything's ready to go. You saw how I fried the shells up. They look amazing, don't they? They're nice and crispy and wonderful. So we're just gonna uh, assemble tacos. And if you're new to tacos, this probably isn't the video for you. There's probably a Blue's Clues or a Barney video you could be watching. As everybody else has been eating these like I have since my abuela started making them for me. Yeah, so anyways, meat, you can see, meat. I like to put the cheese on the bottom and melt it into the meat. You can use jack or cheddar, I did that backwards. <laughs> a little onion, a little tomato, boom, like that. Lay some lettuce on top of that. And you have an amazing beef tacos fritos the way my abuela used to make it. Okay, so hopefully that turned out. I have no idea. I'm gonna leave it up to the guy editing this to figure out how to make all this work. That's me, of course, because <laughs> I'm the only person here. <sighs> so, make this de delicious meal at home. It's incredible, it's super fun, and uh, it's kind of unique. So uh, let me know what you think of the recipe. Let me know what you think of uh, the video. Let me know how stupid I am or how my arms just won't stop doing that for some reason. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, bye. So, thanks for watching my video. As you can see, I'm hard at work on my next meal right now. So, make sure you subscribe, like, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, there's probably four or five other things you can do to, to help. I don't know, share the video, comment, do anything you like. Tell us what you think, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.